yeah. You're listening to the Boogie B Hour, a Danny Alcaraz production, every Sunday, 4 to 5, on KCAA, 10:50 a.m. We'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsors: Hobie's Diner, Pink Diva Hair Salon, Sandra's Cantina, Empire Sports and Supplements, The Band Original Sacrifice, Gil Lima's Insurance, Club Trinidad, Elite Image, and of course, Ultra Printing. Keep it locked, y'all. Don't forget, from 5 to 6, we got Sarissa's Diabetic Foundation, and 6 to 7, we got the talent show. Yeah. We're over here. My name is Ralph Nervous. This is Mona B, Miss Mona B, and we're in a Jezebel sandwich. Ooh, guess who's the meat? Yeah. All right. And just for all y'all haters out there, now I'm wearing the hat. Just for all you haters out there, I'm wearing the hat now. How's it look? Star looks good. Anyway, yeah. shout out to Art Hernandez who didn't like my hat. But anyway, uh, to uh, Ines. Ines is out there making sugar cookies. Mija, can you bring some to us? Yes, please. We all want some, please. please. Anyway, thank you so much. And uh, to Janie, Miss Janie Frankel, who's always listening. Miss Angie Villa, always listening. To Gilbert Lumos, thank you so much, Mijo. You're always listening. And uh, to Mr. Phil Avila, all the way out What's from up, Canyon Phil? Country, always listening to us. He's probably going to be calling us in, in the, on the Cerisa show with some diabetic... Uh, um, tips on health wise and stuff like that but don't forget listen our line 909-888-5222 909-888-5222 if you want to talk to the jazz bellies here hi yeah. all right um we left off where we know you're from riverside about three and a half years and you met through the craigslist but we want to get a little bit more personal and and talk individually how how long you've been in or and where you started how you started well my name is nita um, I've been at, I was there, there at the very first uh, Jezebel meeting at Back to the Grind three and a half years ago. But I uh, pulled away because I am one of the moms in the group. Um, but I came back two years ago and, yeah. to, and founded a great, loving, uh, really great, supportive uh, group of sisters. Not just bandmates, but sisters. So I love that most about the group. And not just that, but I have been able to express myself as a person instead of just a mom awesome. or a wife or, you know, whatnot. But just being me, I'm able to express myself. And I love myself more now than I've ever have um, being a Jezebel because this is who I'm meant to be. So Awesome. We do yeah. need more, more women like y'all. Thank you. To for me, music has has been an outlet. It builds me confidence. Yeah, uh, I was a shy boy, but being on stage and being complimented and um, progressing, or you know, being productive and the music scene has helped me out a lot. Most so. definitely, and, and and just being a person um, for my daughter, you know, showing her that I can be more than just, you know, like um, I can enjoy being myself. <laughs> Yeah, knowledge is a lunch maker or take her to school. Yeah, exactly. But I work full time and I'm able to still have my own life being a part of a community of sisters here. So awesome. it's, it's really, it's, it's showing her that she can do more than that, you know. Just strength. Exactly. It shows her strength. Very exactly. nice. But I know we got next. I am Jessica and I have been with the Jezebels just a little under a year. Um, okay, it's been more like six months. <laughs> It feels like a year. I've been in three and a half years. <laughs> Cat years. And we were, I was so happy when I got the email saying that I was in. I think I booked Dory like every other day, but she was so patient. She was so loving and patient. Um, and I love being a part of Jezebel's simply because uh, there's 15 of us. We're all different, but we're all the same. Mm -hmm. so Very nice. We, uh, we come together for girl power, and we empower each other. And I think if any one of us comes to a meeting sad, you don't leave sad. Yeah. No. You yeah. leave, you no. leave feeling good, you know, go home and, you know, do whatever you need to do. But Jezebel's are awesome. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. You usually leave with a tummy ache because we're laughing so hard. <laughs> That's what happens here, yeah. too. We, yeah. we all go with a tummy ache. I'm waiting for that. So. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm Nicole. I've been with the Jezebels a little... How long did you say, Celeste? Well, you came after Nita. Oh, wait, were you No, I, it, I joined. You joined before Nita? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. We might be like two and a half years or yeah, something. Yeah, oh. yeah, like two and a half years or so. She's like added to the timeline there. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, time goes by so fast. I, you know, you lose track of time. But anyway, um, my, my dear friend Celeste told me all about this choir and how this group of women was just incredibly amazing and... 
Um, so I gave it a shot the first night. I went in for to check it out and everything, and I fell in love with it. It's just I've grown so much since, and I never want to leave. So. <laughs> You're stuck with us. You I love lady. it. I love it so much. Here you go, Very nice. We got bad news for you. No, sorry. Hey, stop. Hey, stop. Hey. Hi, I'm Cat Sweet, and uh, actually, I joined the choir because of my sister, my blood sister. She's in the choir, Irene. Um, she had seen Kelsey's ad on Craigslist, and at the time, that was like the height of like the Craigslist killer, and, you know. And <laughs> And all that, and you know, it's like, what? What is this about? You know, she can't be going by herself. You know, I better go with her to make sure she's okay, and make sure you know, nothing happens to her. And so, um, I went. I thought, oh God, this is probably gonna be so dorky, bunch of dorky girls, and this, this, and that. You know, I didn't know what so to dorky. expect. And I got there, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. And so, you know, we joined in, and we were singing, you know, with the girls, and I thought it was pretty cool. And and luckily the girls kept us <laughs> and so we've been in since it's been three years so um very nice yeah, looking forward to more very nice <laughs> i'm alexis and i joined six months yeah you were in six yeah at the same time as jessica and um two other of our new girls and i found it through craigslist i was just i wasn't planning on getting into anything serious I thought I wanted to be in a choir that wasn't through a church wasn't through a school so I didn't have like an obligation to be a certain way like I didn't want to I wanted to be creative and um, I found Kelsey and Dory and uh, <laughs> I blew up Dory's phone and, I, um, and Dory was so supportive she was rooting for me and um, I got in and it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever been involved with. Everyone's supportive. It's like getting therapy every Monday. <laughs> like, um, it's really fun. Awesome. Yeah. My name's Celeste. Um, I guess I've been in for two and a half, maybe plus, I don't know. <laughs> I've, been, I've been in this for like a while. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I had just gotten out of a band that I was, uh, that I played with uh, for many years, and I wasn't really doing anything, and a friend of mine walked up and said that this was going on, and I just thought, wow, how different from what I had done. And I, I was a front woman before, and this time I had to share the stage. I thought it would be nice and challenging, and I wouldn't have it any other way at this point. We all support each other and um, it's just become bigger and bigger not only with our numbers but just how far we've gotten and we're you know doing playing some really cool shows and we're going to go to Japan yeah. <laughs> very nice yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's it that's uh, 2014 yeah. out of curiosity how, what did you what was required to audition what did you was there a specific type of song specific um, could you, you had to dance you have to know sing? how to cook <laughs> um, what were the requirements? No, no, not that. But, I mean, in the very beginning, since we didn't really know how to, this began or how to start this whole uh, process, um, really anyone that we just kind of got along with. That was our main requirement, that you get along with us and that you're going to be able to support us and, and show everyone on stage that we're a good time. But did you actually have tryouts? I mean, did you actually eventually, had to hear them sing. Yeah, eventually, after we kind of... Uh, yeah, the new girls. We we have the new girls, but oh, actually, the new girls not, had too. They're no longer new girls. They're they're well seasoned veterans. But yeah, we did a whole tr audition in um, downtown Riverside on one of the bars. We had the stage. We had karaoke. They picked their song. We even had a list of questions. No, right. And it was really exciting. We had about sixteen um, girls come and audition, right? Yeah. And wow. four ended up. Um, saying and want to being a part of us and we've welcomed them like a family it's it's been a lot of fun the, especially this past year we there's been so many things that's been happening non-stop that we're we're just you know, this is the beginning of the ride you know so and you guys are here to help us right? yes we are awesome. <laughs> yeah. yes we are that's what danny alcarez the talent show money b enterprises oh, cool. uh, Bo uh, boogie brown i mean this uh, that's what we're all about you know, yeah. and um, you've got our support, and we're, we're here to support the IE talent. Mm -hmm. We're here in whatever capacity and whatever way we can do it. That's what we're here for. The doors open here at KCAA for you, ladies, um, anytime. Just like the doors from Money Enterprises, and uh, we're here for you. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. You want to tell us about the last track you guys brought in, the slower one? Oh sure. Oh. Yeah, this uh, this one's a good one too. It's called uh, Time Machine, and it's a little bit slower, but. Um, 
but it's something that really, really holds deep into our hearts. And it's it's about um, kind of missing that chance with the, with a person that it really could have worked out with. So I think that it relates not just to women but to men also. So wow, it's called Time Machine. Awesome. It's, wow. Yeah, it's it's it's, that it's, it's personally my favorite. I'm sure that one's going to hit home for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, watch Hope out. you guys like it. The Jezebels, <laughs> Time Machine. Hi, we're the Jezebels, and this song is called Time Machine. Ah, uh, yeah, that was Time Machine by the Jezebels. So, can you tell us a little bit more about that song one, once again? Because it was a little bit darker. It was a little yeah, fiery. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit haunting. Um, there you go. So, yeah, and we, um, we weren't even... I remember whenever we went into the studio with Mike Cosgrove and we were recording this song, we actually had nothing written for that breakdown part. Um, and so we were just sitting there and we were just, we just, um, came up with that, um, that's actually a six part harmony. We just came up with it on the fly and 
like 30 minutes. Yeah, wow. yeah. We just were like, okay, this, there's there's a there's a big break here, and you know, we just came up with one layer, and then it's like, oh, another girl jumped in and added another layer, and then within a half an hour, there was a six part harmony, and you know, you guys heard it. It turned out it turned out really well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're we're getting better at working under pressure, and you know, and whenever we have a, a time restraint, we're just like, all right, well, we're such a well oiled machine. You know, we don't have to assign roles to each girl. We're just like, all right, let's listen to it and let's figure this out together and it's like boop we just we just figure it out and it's <laughs> and it just gets better it just it gets easier and easier for us so we're Sound really fix. yeah we're really blessed how can um how can um your fans and how can they contact you what, give us your information on your website fa um facebook whatever it is yeah if you just go to girlrockchoir.com um, that will link you up to all of our different um, social media, like Facebook. Nice. If you go to facebook.com slash the Jezebels, um, you can find us or YouTube at the Jezebels 15. Um, or really just anything, just girlrockchoir.com will be the, the easiest, easiest way. way. You can yeah. see our yeah. video. Yeah. You can yeah. see all our events. You can all see all our links. You can see our pictures and our bios and what we're all about. So <laughs> Very nice. And what are, what are your goals for 2014? Man, we have we have a lot. We're going to Japan. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, That's one of our goals. We want we want to go to a Japan. Japanese and journey Japanese. Yeah. Um, well, first, well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the studio um, and lay down some brand new tracks. And um, the the further we get along, the 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 more um, the more intricate the songs that we're writing together actually get. And so the new songs that we're that we're gonna hit the studio with, super excited about. Um, and you know, we're performing with Drama Ram at the very beginning of the year. We're absolutely just thrilled to do that. And um, just some other things, some long term goals. You know, we really want to get our video. Video, um, on MTV, on MTVU, and right. you know, really start promoting it yeah. um, on a national level. Um, wow. Reach out to some national acts and see if we can do some collaboration and maybe open up for some national acts wow. at least around the Inland Empire. Ralphie, for now. we're gonna say we, I, we remember them when. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. So that's a whiskey that goes on January twelfth. Yes. yes. Awesome. About twenty bucks. You said online. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Like. Three bands, you said, um, two local IE bands, mm -hmm. Drama Rama, yeah. you and yourselves. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a fun show. And we got yeah. Zaw and Modern Noise as well from the Inland Empire. So it's going to be it's gonna be fun. Yeah. I appreciate you all taking the time to come out oh here and, and do this. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Hopefully next time that, yeah, we'll be able to re record you all, sing, sing a yeah. little something. Hopefully. Yeah, have you come back and seen something live? That would be amazing. Yeah. We'll oh, that would be amazing. Like all 15 girls. I hope you have the room for us. Well, hey, we cuddled. <laughs> okay, yeah. We'll cuddle, and we'll cuddle even more. We'll go too high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, um, one more time. Um, your schedule is January, uh, the Whiskey A Go Go. Yes. And what else do you have in January? Is that what you have for now? For now, that's what we have um, planned. Um, but, you know, anything new, uh, just check our website at girlrockchoir.com. That's really the most up to date, or our Facebook. If you follow us and become a fan, we'll love you, of course. Very cool. Um, so, you know, we uh, will, um, you know, keep that up to date as soon as we, we get the news. So. Very good. And just for, um, I want to give a shout out to Nicole and Rob G, yeah. an Anomaly. Uh, if, you, if you Google, can't take my eyes off of you. We have an old school, maybe three years ago video. Yeah. Before yeah. she was in the Jezebels. <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye to all the Jezebels. <laughs> all right, y'all. Oh, that was Big Joe crying back there. <laughs> want to say thank you to Jezebels. Thank you, Jezebels. Celeste. Thank you. We got Celeste in the house, Jessica, Dory, Nita, Kat, Nicole, I mean Nicole, <laughs> and Lexi. Thank wanna, you. We want to thank you for coming on the Mona B. Boogie Say B. Say goodbye, Hour. guys. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. You're listening to the Boogie Bee Hour, a Danielle Chris production every Sunday, 4 to 5, on KCAA, 10.50 a.m. We'd like to give a quick shout-out to our sponsors, Hobie's Diner, Pink Diva Hair Salon, Sandra's Cantina, Empire Sports and Supplements, the band Original Sacrifice, Gil Lima's Insurance, Club Trinidad, Elite Image, and, of course, Ultra Printing. Keep it locked, y'all.
Don't forget, from 5 to 6, we got Sarissa's Diabetic Foundation, and 6 to 7, we got the town show. Yeah. There's a stranger among us tonight. Total darkness in the night. 